I traveled for seven weeks with a camper ran through Norway, starting in Oslo and traveling up to the northernmost point of Norway and Europe's mainland, the North Cape. In this video, I want to give you an insight into the beauty of Norway and some of my favorite places. We will start our journey in the south and travel our way up to the rare beauty of northern Norway. And I hope you can be here with my pronunciation of Norwegian places. Okay, let's start! Number 1. Prakestone. Prakestone is a very steep cliff which rises 604 meters above the Lise Fjorden. It's a very popular tourist attraction and often crowded with people during summer. You can reach the mountain plateau only by hiking, but the hike is not too difficult. Hi guys, I made it up to Prykestolen here at Lisefort. This tour is supposed to be 4 hours long, but we made it in 7, 70 minutes, it's not too exhausting. It's also really family friendly, we saw many kids on the way. You should not be afraid of any heights, because it goes really steep down and there's no rail or any protection. Um, but the tour is really nice and you have an amazing view over the Lisefort. The views at the top are breathtaking and very rewarding. Number 2. Kjeraksbunden If you are a hiking lover, you should combine Bracke Stone with our number 2 Kjeraksbunden and the very nice ferry ride over Lisefjorden. Kjeraksbunden is the famous stone wedged between two rocks. Hey guys, today I can take off another one off my bucket list. I made it up to the top of Kjergerbolten and I was brave enough to hop on the stone. So now I can enjoy the view and take some awesome pictures. Two is supposed to be around six hours, I read online, but we made it up in less than two hours and it's not exhausting, so you can easily do it. I even saw many people with their dogs. But not just the rock is special, the views too. Afterwards, you can treat yourself with some food and hot chocolate and enjoy the views. Number 3. Flamspana at Erlandsfjord. Our number 3 is Flam with the famous Flamspana, located at the Erlandsfjord and the nearby Narefjord. The whole area around Erlandsfjord and Narefjord is beautiful. Not just the famous Flamspana. If you're traveling from Bergen, the drive to Flam itself is already a highlight. Another nice activity in Norway is to take the Flambahn, which is a railway train which goes one hour from Flam to Mölda and one hour from Mölda to Flam back. And it's supposed to be one of the most beautiful train rides in Europe. The railway ride is 20 kilometers long and goes through 20 tunnels where you can see rivers, waterfalls, snow-capped mountains and the beautiful Josefossen waterfall. Another nice activity is the cruise where you get to see the narrow and traumatic UNESCO protected Nærfjör and the Erlandsfjord. And there are many nice viewpoints like Stegastein, where you can see the breathtaking Erlands view from above. Mm -hmm. 
our tip if you are traveling without a car. Check out the Norway in the nutshell ticket from Fjord Tours, which includes the train ride to Flam from Bergen or Oslo, the Flamspanner, a bus and Fjord cruise and all in one day. Link is below. Number 4. Glacier Jostedalsbreen The Jostedal Glacier is the largest glacier in continental Europe. The Jostedal Glacier has a total area of 487 square kilometers and has around 50 glacier arms, such as the Nigarsbreen or Jostedalsbreen. So there are many places you can travel to see the Jostedalsbreen. We checked out Nigarsbreen and Österdalsbreen. Nigerspreen is one of the most accessible glaciers and lies about 30 km north of the village of Gaupne in the Jostedalen Valley. You can see the glacier already from the parking lot. To get close, you can either walk along the lake up to the glacier itself or take the boat across the lake. I recommend to join a guided tour where you do some ice climbing. Österdalsbreen calves into a lake and you can only reach it by boat or kayak. Today we are visiting Jostalsbreen, which is Europe's biggest glacier. And we did the adventure pack, which means we did the kayaks and we were paddling one and a half hours to the glacier and now we will hike the glacier and then we will kayak back. Personally, I like this one more because it had an arctic feeling with icebergs floating on the lake. Number 5. Geiranger Fjord. Geiranger Fjord, often referred as the Pearl of the Fjords, is one of Norway's most visited tourist sites. In 2005, it was listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And at this point, I want to give you some real insight about how Norway in summer can be. Welcome to Geiranger Fjord and enjoy this amazing view. But this is reality and this was how it should look like. So we have August, it, has, it is zero degrees, it's really foggy and we can enjoy the amazing view over Geirangerford. There are many nice viewpoints around the Geirangerford and you get to see impressive waterfalls, abandoned farms and high mountains. Welcome guys to Gairanga. I had a little bit more luck with the second viewpoint, which is not as high as the other in altitude, so I can enjoy the view from here. And due to Corona in 2020, I can enjoy Gairanga all by myself. Another really nice viewpoint, I hope I pronounced it right, is Ornisvingen, where you have a beautiful view over the fjord and the little town Geiringen. Number 6. Trollstigen. Another scenic highlight is definitely the Troll Pass view here in Trollstigen. You have an amazing view over this crazy road up here and you have left and right waterfalls. It just looks mind-blowing beautiful. And they also built a really nice visitor center where 
some snacks and drinks. The Trolls Road is an impressive piece of road building where the road snakes and climbs its way up. The road is narrow with a gradient of 9%, but passing pockets have been incorporated and traffic normally flows without problem. In fact, during the top tourist season about 2500 vehicles pass daily. Fun fact, every band has its own name. Number 7 and finally some English pronunciation, the Atlantic Ocean Road. Right now I'm passing the Atlantic Ocean Road, which is a really nice scenic drive where we cross several bridges and islands and you probably saw already images of one of the first bridges, which looks really nice because it's really skewed. The Atlantic Ocean Road takes you from lush coastal landscapes to bare rocks where you can see the sun sink into the horizon. This national tourist road has been called the world's most beautiful drive and has been voted the Norwegian construction of the century. There are many nice stops along the road where you can stroll around. And it really doesn't matter during which weather conditions you are traveling. The Atlantic Ocean Road is as beautiful in sunshine and calm weather as in full storm and rain. Number 8. Lofoten Island. It would be no top 10 without the Lofoten Island. If you are seeking unforgettable nature experiences, Lofoten will definitely not let you down. Due to the area's diverse landscape, you can go hiking, skiing, fishing, ocean rafting, surfing and even scuba diving. Lofoten is known for a distinctive scenery with majestic mountains, deep fjords, open sea, sheltered bays and beaches and untouched lands, but also for its nice fishing villages. Lofoten has many beautiful villages like Hennings Fair, where you can stroll around the village and drink some coffee in really nice coffee places. Fishing has been and still is the reason why people have lived here and the region is known for its many small fishing villages. You cannot leave without going on a fishing trip and trying some stockfish made from spawning cod. Number 9. The Reza National Park This park is not so known, probably because less people travel up that far north. But for me, this park was a real highlight. Pure, untouched nature and no crowds. After just one day, I felt refreshed and energized. Good morning from Reza National Park. Today we are going with the boats on the river inside the Reiser National Park. There um, I will do some hikes, um, we'll catch some waterfalls and enjoy the bonfire with some lunch. Reiser National Park covers a natural landscape that is virtually untouched. 
The park consists of canyons, a salmon river, stream valleys, waterfalls, wetlands and a mountain plateau. At the end of the boat trip you will arrive at Mollifossen and it's only a small trail up to the waterfall. So this is Mollifossen. It's a really nice view from here. Number 10. Now we arrive at the northernmost region of Norway, North Cape, which is definitely a highlight of Norway. Only if you get lost up here in the north, which makes the region so special. Welcome to the North Cup. After driving five weeks from Oslo, we finally arrived at the northernmost point of Europe. The cape includes a 307 meter high cliff with a large flat plateau on top where visitors can watch the midnight sun, northern lights and views of the Barren Sea. The visitor center on the plateau includes a restaurant and an interesting small museum with video cinema. But there is plenty more to do in the region than the Cape itself. You can see king crabs, whales, you can go hiking, fishing and of course see the northern lights. You can join the fun of going dock sledging and not just in winter, also in summer. And of course, don't miss out on going on a snowmobile tour in winter. I hope you liked my Norway video. If so, I would really appreciate if you helped me grow my channel. So please like, comment and subscribe and see you soon.